guys welcome back to our channel i'm tier and i'm brie and today we are bringing to you guys our february favorites so brie will start us off okay so i'm gonna start off with this black black radiant <laughs> pressed powder and the color is rich mahogany and i use this to add co um color around the perimeter of my face just to bronze it up a bit because I'm not really into contouring. I don't want to change the shape of my face. I just want to add color because I just feel like if I don't, then my face will be all one color when I put that foundation or concealer on. So I use that and I actually love it. I love what it, the look that I get. I love how it adds dimension to my face. So this is a favorite of mine. This is the Black Radiance Press Powder in, um, what is it called? Rich Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, my next favorite is Makeup Remover Wipes. These are the Elf. Take the day, no, makeup remover cl cleansing cost. And it comes with 20 in a pack, and these were only $3, you guys. And I had previously used the Neutrogena makeup wipes, and I think you get about 27 for like $7. And one day I ran out, and I'm a broke college student. So I was like, let me just try these for $3 until I can buy my Neutrogena ones. So with that being said, I don't think I'm going back to my Neutrogena ones because these were $3, and they do just as good of a good job. So the next favorite that I'm going to talk about is, hands down, the best moisturizer the moisturizer that I've ever tried in my entire life. And I actually got this sample in my Ipsy bag. It's called the e Eco Beauty Good Day Day Moisturizer. And this thing is so moisturizing to the face and I don't know I'm only I'm 20 years young so I'm not that old but <laughs> you know how you can tell when your face is dull well I personally didn't know my face was looking dull until I tried this out and it just kind of like it revitalized my skin and it made me look like brighter I don't know how to describe it but I love this I love this so much that I use all my ipsy point well not all of them but I use most of my ipsy points to get another sample and after I finish my samples I'm going to purchase the full size which is $40 it's a bit pricey but I don't mind splurging for my skin I always splurge for skincare so I love it <laughs> Okay, you guys, my next favorite is another e.l.f. product. Um, this is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. Y'all, like, this thing is life. So, when I, I'm not good with cleaning my brushes on, like, a consistent, like, weekly basis. So, what this does for me, it helps prolong the brush longevity for me because every time I feel as though my, my brush has too much makeup in it or something, I'll just spray it a few times and, like, wipe it off on a paper towel and it's like my brush is, like, brand new. So, this stuff has been really, really helping me. It works really, really well and I highly recommend anybody who does not have this product to have this product because it's only $3 and if you don't like washing your brushes, then you can go ahead and get that bad boy. So, yes, I recommend the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleanser. So my next favorite is actually what I have on my lips right now. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Fiery. And I just love the color. The color is so vibrant. I originally saw this color on Kathleen Lights. And obviously it looks different on me than it does on her. It's a bit deeper on her. But it's very, very bright and vibrant on me. And I love that. I love to have my lips like stand out. And I feel like this is like kind of a classic red in my opinion. So... I love it. Once again, it's the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Fiery. Okay, um, while um, we're on the, well, maybe I just went off the makeup trend. You know what, whatever, we're gonna go with this. It is my Shea Moisture Black Soap. Now, you guys, let me be honest with you. This stuff broke the mess out of my face. Well, it brought all my impurities to the surface. And this is the Shea Moisture Black Soap. But after it was done, like now my skin is fine. It really doesn't care, but it's like going with the flow that I gave it. So now it works really well. I have noticed that my skin is a lot brighter, but please be aware that at first, when you first use this soap, you're going to like experience like bumps and stuff over your face because I had like two right here and like three down here, but they went away. But your skin just has to, I guess, adjust to natural stuff on it because now I have gone... 95% organic because my toner has alcohol in it. But other than that, I'm organic on my face besides my makeup and stuff. But like my black soap is organic, considered organic, I guess. And my moisturizer, which I'll get to later, is organic. But yeah, Shea Moisture Black Soap is great for the skin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is this 
don't know what it's called um <laughs> it's basically like body shimmers i got this idea off of the daytime talk show called the real and what it i mean every time i see them obviously their makeup is all on point but their body is always like glowing and it's always shimmering and i don't know i'm just that kind of stuff attracts me like it's like i'm weird i'm looking at people's skin and how it's glowing and i want my skin to glow and i want my skin to look like I don't know. I just love when people's skin looks healthy and glowy and you get that nice glow. So this is what I use and I just spray it on. It has a scent and you probably won't be able to see it, but it has a scent and it kind of gives that sparkle to your skin and it has like a, it's kind of a vanilla scent. I don't know, but I really love this stuff and I love wearing it. Now when I go out on special occasions, you know, I'll be having my glow and it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just love it. So that's a favorite of mine. Okay, you guys, my next favorite is my LA Girl Concealer in the color Fawn. And I use this concealer basically with all of my concealers because I like having that yellow undertone on my face because most of my concealers, for some weird reason, have red undertones and the yellow undertone concealers are too light for me. So the way I'm able to even it out is by putting a yellow tone concealers with the concealers that I already own. And Fawn LA Girl Concealer is yellow tone. So I really, really, really love this concealer, you guys. It's too light for me to wear it on my own unless I want like a vicious go ham highlight. But other than that, I love mixing this. So if you're maybe, I'm an NC50 and Max and 178 and Makeup Forever, if that helps anybody. But if you need some yellow back into your skin, you can always try the makeup. <laughs> I like your pro concealer in the color fawn. So yes. Okay. So the next product that I'm gonna mention is actually like the product of the year in my opinion. For this is the um, ACV apple cider vinegar and what I use this for mainly is I add this. Well, I add diluted apple cider vinegar mixed in with my witch hazel and it is phenomenal. When I say like my skin, my skin as is the best that it's been. In a very long time since I've started I mean still already mentioned it but going the natural route since I've started going the natural route, my skin has been it's been a rocky road but now <laughs> I finally gotten to the point where I have found products that are actually like doing well for my skin and I think that's the key like you just find what's working for you so I incorporated apple cider vinegar in my routine to tone and to tighten my pores and just to brighten my overall face and occasionally when I do do a face mask I use the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. And I mix these two together. And this one is it's intense, guys. It just basically pulls everything out of your skin to the surface. If you just saw me this morning, you just saw that I had. You probably can still see it, but I had a huge pimple because we did this last <laughs> night. And it just brings everything to the surface. It's similar to the black soap because when I first started using black soap, my face purged as well. And... I just, I, I dealt with it because I'm the type of person who gives it a shot longer than a day. And I, I was used to pimples, so I was like, I might as well continue. But I read up on it and it said the purge is natural. It's just cleaning, deeply cleaning your skin so that way you can have like the fresh face, I guess. So yes. those are like, those are holy grails and staples in my skincare right now. So that is that. <laughs> yeah, because when you go the natural route on your face, I have learned that your face is going to look bad. Before it looks good because let me tell you I had went to Brianna I was like oh my gosh what did you tell me to put on my face like I don't really get pimples so I was like all yeah. this stuff was on my face I was like yeah what is it was this on my her. face I was like this is not okay <laughs> it was new to her but I was just like <laughs> I can keep it going but now my face that is 30 fine. day trial right give but, it a try but um what I will say is natural is definitely not for everyone yeah. I mean you can definitely find products you don't have to like make your own concoctions like me. It's just mm. something that I personally love doing because I think skincare is a passion of mine. But just keep in mind, if you see breakouts, just give it a try. I yeah. mean, <laughs> it depends on your comfort level because some people don't really yeah, want to deal yeah. with that. But that's all we're going to say. Right. Do what you want to do. <laughs> don't take it from us. Do what you want to yeah, do. Yeah, whatever you feel is best. Yeah. So another concoction while we're talking about concoctions is I have been loving olive oil in general. I have been putting it on my face as a moisturizer because before I was using the Shea Moisture spot treatment stuff, it was not working. It was making my face dry. Did not like it. Took it back. Bought olive oil. And yes, I have been using it as a moisturizer. Olive oil is very moisturizing. I had originally thought that because olive oil is a protein that it would like literally dry my face out because it dries your hair out. Well, it doesn't dry my hair out, but my oh. hair is like 
well, on another level. Okay. Well, I thought olive oil would dry your hair out because all the protein if you use too much of it. Yeah. So, what Brie did last night, <laughs> <laughs> she put some castor oil and vitamin E oil in my oil. So, I got a concoction. <laughs> so, I've been like so pressed because I got me Y'all not oil. got her girl up. Yes, I'm oil. all <laughs> organic now, girl. But yeah, I'm loving this mixture. And it seems like more moisturizing than just the straight mm -hmm. olive oil. Because you have more, pro it's like different doing, it, each oil has a different thing that it's going to do for your face. But when it works together, I'm telling you, it's a powerful thing. I got to put you on to sweet almond oil, but I ain't have none. So that's besides We're going to go point. to mom's. Okay. Yeah, baby. we need to go to mom's so you can experience the love that I feel when I go to mom's. But anyway, my last favorite is I actually heard about this conditioner from the Glam Twins. And at first, I'm going to be honest, I... I didn't think that this particular brand catered to people with my hair type. Mm -hmm. And I know that's kind of ignorant of me, but once I tried it out, I all that all those thoughts exited my mind. This is the Garnier Fruit Teas Fortifying Conditioner Damage Eraser. This conditioner, it, I mean, it's basically, you can use it as a deep conditioner. This is how good it is. But it's super thick. It has so much slip. And it's like, I put it in my hair and I co-washed with it. And then when I rinsed it out, my hair was like butter. It was so soft. And then it was so easy for me to detangle when I got out of the shower. Mind you, I used this after I took my braids out. So you know my hair was very tangled and it was on another level of dryness. And when I took my braids out and I co-washed with this, I detangled. It was a breeze to detangle. My hair was super moisturized. And I just love the way my hair felt after this. So once again, this is that Garnier Fruit Teeth Damage Eraser. And I got this from Target. It was no more than $4. I believe it was no more than $4 for this big tub. And I've used it quite a bit now. And I'm still at the top. Like I barely scratched the surface of this conditioner. So it's going to last me a while. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. Okay, you guys, I have, I think, about three more favorites. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, the next favorite I have is a toner. Now, you guys, I didn't see the significance of a toner. I was like, do I need, is this for toning your face? I don't even know for real what this is for, honestly. But I use it before I put on my moisturizer. And it, for me, it moisturizes my face. I don't know if that's what it's for. What's it for? The witch hazel, basically, it... it removes all the product that your cleanser may have left it tones oh. the skin it soothes the skin because you know your skin gets really dry after you do all that cleansing especially when we use black soap black soap is like an intense cleanser so it basically like you said it can moisturize it will restore the moisture and balance back to your face before you put your moisturizer on yes said. <laughs> so this <laughs> this i've been loving even though i only knew that it moisturized my skin before i put my moisturizer you, you texted me you told me that you was you was you thought you was getting all that makeup off and you was like, oh the dirt. Yeah, off and it gets more dirt off my face because I thought I was so clean after <laughs> I washed my face. It lied. Apparently I wasn't that clean before. <laughs> no, I'm not okay, but but you know you, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It just gets that excess stuff off your face. Yeah. And I think it'd be some some of that black stuff residue residue be yeah. still on my face. That's what happens. So too. this gets the excess dirt off and moisturizes. My face be feeling like new, even though I gypped. Brianna for some of hers this morning because I used it. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go give me some peach stuff. But, yes, I want to try the peach one that she got upstairs next. No, I haven't been upstairs. For the brand. Yeah. So, my next favorite is my Z Polity Cons. So, this has my favorite top nine neutral eyeshadows. Please don't excuse the broke one. My dad did it. But, yes. These are my favorite neutral eyeshadows. So whenever I'm on the go or I'm traveling or anything like that, I'll just take this palette. Okay, so whenever I'm traveling or I'm on the go, I can always just grab my um, palette, my Z palette. And I mentioned this in my favorite because I also have the medium Z palette and I have another small Z palette, which I've featured before on our channel and I love them both like to death. I, my medium Z palette is basically full at this point. So that's going to hinder me from buying more eyeshadows, which I guess is a good thing. I don't need any more. Saving that moolah, moolah, moolah. Okay, and my last favorite is my Fix Plus. Now, I am over Bree's house, so I don't have my big bottle. So what I decided to do is bring the traveled bottle of... What did I say? Fix Plus. Plus. The, yeah, the travel bottle of my Fix Plus. 
I love this stuff. It adds moisture to your face. Uh, this is not, I'm not having a good face day, so we're not going to use my face today as an example. But it adds moisture to your face. It helps with, like, I use it for when I color correct because it's, like, really, really thick. So this loosens out my color corrector before I put on my, um foundation or anything i just love me some fix plus if your face is looking powdery and dry i have dry 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 skin so especially with that snow and everything yeah my, the weather enhances it times a thousand because i don't even have dry skin and my skin is dry so, so I imagine my imagine. skin yeah. yeah but yeah get you some fix okay you guys so we also went shopping yes 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 mm -hmm. yesterday so we're going to show you some of the things that we picked up because it's not a lot so it wasn't yeah, worth a haul yeah but we still wanted to include it so let go brie okay i picked up two things from sephora the first thing that i picked up one of our um friends here on youtube actually recommended this to me and this is the i'll leave your name somewhere right here because i can't remember it but it's the Kat Von D Laka Tattoo Foundation and I got the color Deep 74 and I'm actually wearing it today it's so cool. yeah I really like it it I didn't think I was gonna like it but I use just a little bit because I'm not really one to wear a whole lot so I didn't think I'll like it but I really love this so of course I had to pick it up and this is just what the packaging looks like I think it's really cute mm -hmm. and that's what I got and then I also picked up the original chocolate bar palette I've been eyeing this for probably about a year now and I didn't know if I wanted to get it and then they came out with the semi-sweet and I was like which one do I get but I've discovered that I original I like the original better because it has more color in it I mean the semi had the blue but this one has more color that I like so I love it and I took that thing out that's the only thing I don't like but I love the palette so far it's very pigmented I've only used two colors in here but it seems to be very pigmented and I'll probably do a look with it pretty soon so that is that did you want to go ahead and because you got stuff from Mac and I also got two eyeshadows from Mac so you okay so I had one thing from Sephora and it's what Bree's wearing on her lips right now it's Stila stay all day and fiery now the way this works for me and Brie might be different because this is <laughs> slippery as I do not know what. My other liquid lipsticks are not as slippery. You have to be very, very, very careful when applying this because it'll get messy for me. It gets messy. So I discovered that I have to use a lip pencil, a red lip pencil first to outline my lips and then I just fill it in with this because I might end up wasting product just putting that on my lips. But yeah, I got it in fiery. <laughs> Okay, so we also <laughs> picked up some things from Mac. Mm -hmm. um, me, personally, I just, I had a gift card for Mac, and I just wanted to fill up my quad. So that's what I did. I bought this um, blue color. I honestly forgot the name of this. But I bought the blue color right here, and then I got this color. I know the name of this. This is called Expensive Pink. So I love my little quad, y'all. I just love it. I was so pressed to fill it up because... It, although it took me quite a while and the funny thing about this little quad with four eyeshadows it costs just about as much as my chocolate bar palette it did though right <laughs> but i love it and i love this blue eyeshadow i don't know if you guys see my ipsy video but i had this color on i'm gonna link the color down below i'll i'll figure it out and link it down below if you want to know the name of it but that's what i did i just bought those two eyeshadows to fill up my quad okay you guys i didn't go ham and mac well no i didn't go ham so what I bought in MAC is MAC's Gold Deposit, Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. And I'm wearing it today. Ooh, that's not okay. I'm wearing it today, and it's nice. I didn't get to go ham like I wanted to go ham. I'm used to going ham with my highlighters. And I think the I brush like doesn't it. like it. I see it. It's so subtle. I, but I like it. It's different from my Topaz because this is more glowy, and Topaz is more highlighty. That makes sense. We'll go with it. <laughs> and I got a rebuy of a lipstick that I should not have had to rebuy. And it's Max Velvet Teddy. I lost my original Velvet Teddy. And then something in my life was like Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy. You always want what you don't have. Because when I had Velvet Teddy, I wasn't feeling like wearing Velvet Teddy. So when I didn't have Velvet Teddy, all I wanted to wear was my Velvet Teddy. But I didn't have my Velvet Teddy to wear. So then I was looking at Target and all those places. I was looking for a nude embrace. Which, of course, is sold out yeah. everywhere. It's always sold out. So, I just bought Velvet Teddy again. Yeah. Okay, well. 
that is the end of our February favorites. And it's also the end of our little mini haul. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. So like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.